This is a lengthy ass video. It's gonna be extremely lengthy as shit. I just have a lot to talk about, like a lot to talk about. And I'm just gonna be talking like really fast or as fast as I can possibly talk in one breath or one sitting. Okay, okay. Hey guys, my name is Karina and today I'm gonna be doing my October monthly favorites. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Oh my gosh, this month is practically almost over and it flew by and it's just been a crazy, crazy month. I've just been doing a lot of crazy stuff and I have some really cool things to talk about, which I'm really excited about and a lot of updates, I believe, or just things that I've been doing for this month of October. So first things first is I've been watching so many TV shows this month. I've just been catching up with a lot of series and seasons that I hadn't really watched when it actually aired. And so the first one that I've been watching is the originals, the last season of the originals. Now I love the originals. Um, if you guys don't know, it's a spinoff series of the Vampire Diaries. And I used to like the Vampire Diaries within like the first couple of seasons. But then after a while, it just kind of got... Eh. After they graduated high school, I was just like not into it, but I did continue to watch it. And the ending of the Vampire Diaries was pretty satisfactory, except for the fact that they killed off Stefan. Is that his name? I can't even remember what his name is. I think it is Stefan. <laughs> um, which was so not cool. Like, what the F? He just got married and then they decided to kill him off and then that was the end of that. And then... Proceeding to the originals, I love the whole concept of it and then very last season, I feel like at the very last moment, they could have come up with something a little bit better than, spoiler alert, killing off Klaus Michelson. Like, hello, are you kidding me? I am a huge Klaus Michelson fan and I completely ship him and Caroline Forbes from the Vampire Diaries or she also is a special guest in the last season um, the originals but I shipped them hardcore and it was so sad that they had to kill him off like why couldn't um, his brother Elijah take all of the power from him and then just kill Elijah like Elijah at the end of the last season was just really annoying me like hardcore with his stupid oh i don't know who you are i don't my lost my memory and you don't mean anything to me and whatever this is, this is just becoming a huge rant now um and i just i cannot believe that they killed all klaus michelson because now from the originals, there's going to be another spin-off series called The Legacies, or Legacy, The Legacy, I don't know what it's called, but now it's like um, Klaus Michelson's daughter, and then the whole school, and the academy, and like her little clan or whatever, which I am happy to say that I will not be watching that. I am done with that whole all of that series stuff and i watched the trailer for it i did not look good at all i am not thoroughly pleased um i just i don't know i was cringing the whole time i was watching the trailer for some reason so i am not going to be watching that when it airs um but yeah i think the originals and the vampire diaries had a pretty good run for what it was worth um it was time for them to well the originals i'm talking about the originals the vampire diaries i'm actually glad that it ended because it was just going on and on and on and i was hoping that it would end so i would have to stop watching the series because then i didn't want to not stop it half ass through and the originals as well i really enjoyed it but i'm glad that it has come to a complete um stop that it has come to a, an end um, but I'm not happy again at the fact they killed off my favorite freaking character and one of the main roles like what the fuck okay moving on to my second series that I've been watching for this month is Dexter I finally freaking finished Dexter and I am so glad that it is over because I just have so much hate 
for certain characters. I don't know if you guys experience this, but when you binge watch a series, because there's no breaks in between if you're binging or if you're watching it at a continuous rate, um, certain characters just start to annoy you more, I feel like, than they would when you're watching it when it actually airs. Um, for example, Dexter's sister. Like, I literally wanted to murder her. I could not stand her. Um, and Dexter himself, I mean, I was fine with the character. I just could not deal with his sister. And at the very end, like, what the f was that ending like i just don't get it i mean he got everything he wanted he had his son he had the love of his life and they were gonna go to argentina i think it was and live their life but then at the very last second deb like had to interfere like she always freaking does and then ended up getting shot and then freaking died like what like i hated her so much but i didn't honestly like want her to die <laughs> um for some reason just the ending of that and then like him moving to some weird ass like in the middle of nowhere chomping down trees or whatever the hell he was doing like seriously was that necessary seriously no go be with your child and the love of your life and just live and move on anyways i thought the ending on that was just really weird um but i'm glad that that's over and i'm glad that i can move past that because it's a series that i always wanted to see never saw it when it actually aired and now that it's finished i'm glad i'm done i'm over with it and the last series that I've been watching or finished watching last season of is Quantico. I love the first season. Um, I would have to say the first two seasons. Um, the first season was obviously my favorite. And then after they graduated from the academy and sort of moved on into like the real life situation of like them doing their own thing, it just kind of got weird. I just love the whole like concept of them being at the academy and training and going on jobs and all of that within the original cast and the original group but then afterwards it just i don't know it didn't have that same um vibe to it i suppose and i'm actually really glad that this season was the last one and it ended uh the ending on quantico was crazy stupid as well like what the fuck was that ending like literally they kill off that guy that she was pregnant with his child with and then she like had the opportunity of choosing the guy or the child and why would she have a choice of one over the other why can't she have both like honestly if it was me i would go to the freaking guy like hey oh the guy was fucking hot as shit but no in reality yeah i understand like you have to take care of the child as well but why couldn't she have both like i would choose both i just didn't understand that ending I interpreted it as a lot of different things so I interpreted it as maybe she chose a child and then she decided that maybe she needed to step back from the whole secret agent thing the FBI CIA whatever the heck she was at that point um, and just completely bury that part of her life and start a new one with this child because obviously you can't really be an agent if you're like looking after a kid I mean, I guess you could, but that would be weird and people would come after you and then your kid just like they did in the last season. And anyways, I don't know. And then, I mean, like, I also got a vibe that maybe she did kind of still have a thing with that guy and she chose both the guy and the girl. Like, I don't know. It was just left up for like imagination or suppose. I don't know. I just really didn't like the ending on that one either. But I'm glad that that's over. Moving on to movies. My favorite movie for this month is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Oh my gosh, you guys, the CGI in this movie is badass. I mean, the CGI in the first movie was badass as well, but I love dinosaurs. I've loved dinosaurs since I was a child. I will always love dinosaurs. Like, 
dinosaurs are like awesome and just I love the original Jurassic Park movies like I'm obsessed with everything Jurassic Park related and I don't know the CGI on this second movie was just so awesome and I love the story it was a lot more action-packed and it was just amazing I I was just blown away it was just incredible so yeah I definitely liked that movie now the one food item that I have because you guys know that I have to have at least one food item in my favorites video are these Lara bars in specific it's the peanut butter chocolate chip and the chocolate chip cookie dough now I've talked about Lara bars before in many of my videos and I've been eating Lara bars for like many years now it's nothing new but I just picked up a box of those from Sam's a while back and I've just been like snacking on them throughout the week especially when I'm on the go or on the run they're just really easy to like pop into your bag or whatever and I was a little hesitant about the peanut butter chocolate chip flavor I don't think I've ever had that one before the chocolate chip cookie dough one is cracked that one is literally one of my top favorites um, but yeah, the combination isn't actually that bad as far as the peanut butter and the chocolate chip go. So yeah, I just been loving snacking on those bad boys. They're literally crack for me. I have to be really careful because I can eat a lot of it in one sitting, which is not good. Um, uh, especially since it's like has chocolate in it and I love chocolate but I have to be really careful with it I can't eat too much or else I'll get really freaking sick now the one book item that I have on my favorites for this month is actually it's actually not even an oh well, it's a book but it's it's an unofficial guide it's like a tour book and it's for um, Walt Disney World and it's the 2019 edition. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Struggle is real. Okay, Walt Disney World 2019 edition. This thing is beefy by the way. It has literally everything you ever wanted to know about Walt Disney World. It doesn't include Universal Studios. It's a whole nother book within itself. Um, but I saw this at my local library and it just completely like drew me in because this month I've literally been obsessed with Disney. I've been obsessed with Disney my whole life. I literally grew up at Disney. If you guys don't know, I grew up in Florida. I used to literally be at Disney like every other weekend. I've been to Disney probably over a hundred times, no joke, easily, maybe even more. I just love Disney. It is a huge part of who I am and it just brings me back memories to my childhood. So I've been crazy obsessed with Orlando and Disney and Universal this month and for some reason I walked into my library and I saw this book and I was like it's calling my name, it's a sign, I need to pick this book up and I need to read it. and. I really, really wanted to go to um, Halloween Horror Nights this year at Universal because it's something that I always wanted to do, especially during this time of month. Halloween is my favorite holiday and just going to all those haunted mansions and haunted mansions, no, haunted houses and just walking along. I don't know. I've just been watching a lot of vlog videos about Disney and Universal and Halloween Horror Nights and it's just not fair. Unfortunately, I will not be able to go this year, but there's always another year, I suppose. Um, I've been only trying to go for the past, like, I don't know, 10 years or so, but one day it'll happen. One day. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I just really want to go to Disney and Walt Disney World and just like go and see um, Pandora and just go see, well, it's, Star Wars hasn't opened yet, the whole Star Wars um, lair or whatever. It opens in 2019. And then I just want to go ride like the Transformers ride and then I want to go see like Harry Potter World, which I have been to Harry Potter World, but what I haven't been back since they opened the new section, which now it's not even new anymore, but I want to go see Hogsmeade and I want to go see all of just like 
the nerdiness because I'm a huge nerd and I love Harry Potter as well and so I just I freaking want to go I should just like move to Orlando and live there it has been a thought of mine that has crossed uh, my mind <laughs> many many uh, times okay I'm not even making sense I don't speak English anyways this book um, has everything you want to know from like budgeting how far in advance to plan hotels resorts um has maps of walt disney world um and all of the perks within it it literally will give you a headache no joke i read this thing and not even halfway through it my head was pounding because it's just so much information it's so overwhelming it literally made me have like a mini panic attack and i'm not even going to disney but it has like restaurants and like i don't even know like formulas on how to budget and just like crazy stuff and it talks about like downtown disney which downtown disney is no longer called downtown disney but since i was a kid it's always going to be downtown disney but it's now called disney springs so yeah i brushed up on my disney trivia i suppose um a lot has changed since i've been there i haven't been to disney in over 20 years i want to say so yeah a lot has changed within that um so yeah if you're ever looking for an informational guide on everything to do with walt disney world this is your to go guide moving along to music so i've been listening to several different songs this month the first song is from the vamps and it's called just my type and i remember when the vamps first came out i wasn't like a huge fan of them because i was like oh it's just gonna be like another teeny bopper type band or whatever like one direction but it's really not because that's kind of an insult because they're actually a band and one direction is like a boy group band or whatever you want to call it anyways the vamps are super cute they're super adorable they're so like young <laughs> and i don't even know what there was one song that i used to really like of theirs when they first came out but i don't even remember right now um but just my type is a new newer song i don't think it's like really that new but to me it's new because i don't listen to them i just came across it one day and i was like hey this is kind of catchy i like it and hello puberty hit them like hardcore because they were like little kids when they first came out not really and now they're like men so yeah um <laughs> okay back to the song just my type it's really catchy i don't know i like it and the music video is quite entertaining the next band that i have been listening to non-stop is five seconds of summer oh my gosh i've literally been obsessed i remember when they first came out i was obsessed with their song what is it american dream teenage american no i don't i don't know what it's called but they have several songs that were on like the top 100 list when they first came out and they were young too they were like teenagers and now they're men and puberty hit them really hard as well but there's two songs on their new album young blood that i absolutely love and cannot stop listening to the first song is young blood honestly i haven't listened to them since they first kind of came out and then after that i was just kind of like eh. um and then this new album hit and i was like holy moly like i love their new sound and i love the direction that they're moving in um young blood just has a really good beat to it it has a really good beat to it and i can dance to it comment below if you know where that's from <laughs> <laughs> okay anyways um and the sound is just really neat and i just like the song itself and then the second song that i absolutely cannot stop listening to is valentine i love the music video the song is super dope it has like the 70s 80s vibe to it maybe a little bit of 60s thrown in there i don't even know but that's just kind of the vibey 
thing that I'm getting from it, but it's so awesome and I cannot stop listening to it. It's like Young Blood and Valentine are like my top two favorite songs for this month. And the other ones are just added bonuses that I've been listening to nonstop as well. But I don't know, Five Seconds of Summer, like they're really putting out good music and good content and I just really like them right now. And the last song that I've been listening to on repeat is called Rockstar by Post Malone and 21 Savage. Now this is not a new song at all. I don't even know how I came across this song and how I never even knew this song existed, but I just honestly don't listen to that kind of music. So yeah, I don't know. I just really like it. It has a dope beat to it. And the music video is pretty sick too. It's like Fruit Ninja, but in real life with people. I don't know. It kind of has like a Kill Bill vibe to it as well, but it's really dope. I don't know. Now, if you watched my last video, you would know that this month I went to a mineral and gem show. It was my first mineral and gem show ever. And I was super excited. I vlogged about it and i ended up picking two crystals and they are my absolute favorite for this month because i love them and i don't know i've been like sort of meditating with them and doing yoga with them and just holding him and then instantaneously i can just feel like the stress going away or i can feel just this like vibrational positivity um i don't know it might be in my mind but i honestly believe it's this so the first one that I got is fluorite, and this is what it looks like. It's really pretty, it has purple and green in it. It's almost like a jade color. And when I initially went up to this person's booth, I was automatically just drawn to this one. The other fluorites that they had, they had two other ones, did not have any green in them. They had purple and some other color i think i don't even know what but this one was the only one that had the green in it and i was just like ooh, shiny and yeah i just had to get it i was not really on a hunt for fluorite but i was casually just looking i really wanted to get a phantom quartz or just quartz or an amethyst in general but i just you can go watch the video if you want on that i talk a little bit more about that and the second crystal i got is lapis lazuli and this is what it looks like it's blue and it kind of has like this grayish ribbon strips through it and i don't know i just really like it i was looking for ones that were more like pyramid or cylinder shape that like stood up i didn't really want like the thin rocks where you just have to like place them down on a surface i wanted something that had sort of a dimension or uh height to it i suppose i don't know i just had this thing in my mind and i knew what i wanted but i don't know how to explain it so yeah those are my two favorite crystals for this month and i love them and i cherish them and i keep them um both i have two buddhas so i keep one by each buddha and yeah i look at them every day and i hold them every day and i love them every day and my favorite youtubers for this month are the first one is danny duncan and no not the young danny duncan that has like over a million subscribers and is just like really young and like doing the whole youtube thing i'm talking about danny duncan from the band we the kings who is the drummer for the band we the kings and he started vlogging about like five six years ago or so and i remember watching him when he first started vlogging and putting out content on youtube because if you guys don't know i watch charles strippy ctfxc and charles strippy is the basis for the band we the kings and then danny started vlogging um because charles started vlogging um his experience when they went on tour and so then danny started putting out more content and i started watching him and then i stopped for like three years or so and within that last like three years there has been so many freaking changes i don't even know how i came across this channel but it just like popped up i think in one of my suggested feeds or something randomly and i was like hey danny like what is he up to so uh now he's a dad super weird and like what the f but his baby carter his son carter is like the cutest effing thing 
on this planet like i am not a kid person i am not a child person i'm not a baby person at all but i don't know carter is so stinking adorable first of all he's a hybrid and if you don't know what a hybrid is I think it's more of a term that I use, but it's basically of mixed races or multicultural or someone who's just like comes from mixed descent. Um, so he is half Venezuelan and half, I guess, Caucasian. I don't know what Danny is, white, um, but he is so cute. And I'm obsessed with like hybrid people and just hybrid babies because they, I literally feel like are the best of both worlds. They have the best skin color, the best features. Like, oh my gosh, they're just so beautiful. They're like, perfect i cannot just i cannot get over how amazingly pleasing they look it sounds weird but i don't know they're just beautiful to me so yeah this baby carter this baby carter this baby carter <laughs> is just so adorable and just seeing danny as a dad like i i cannot believe it. it's so crazy but yeah, it's just amazing to see like all the different changes that have happened within the X amount of years that I stopped watching his videos. And I've actually been watching a lot of his Disney vlogs because he lives in Orlando and he goes to Disney pretty much like every freaking day. Not really, but every other weekend probably. I don't know. But yeah, it's just made me really nostalgic about Florida and Disney and it just really want makes me want to go so bad like more than ever like I've already wanted to go but now like I really freaking want to go and in case you're wondering it's Danny Duncan but it's Danny in real life vlogs DLV what's kicking chicken okay <laughs> and the second youtuber that I've been really liking this month is that valentina girl and that is danny's ex and aka carter's mommy and she now vlogs and has her own channel and she talks a lot about baby stuff which i'm not interested in at all but i just mainly watch it because carter's on there a lot and carter's super cute and i can't get enough of that kid i don't know why i'm not even having baby fever i don't want to have kids like ever but i don't know something about that kid he is just so adorable i can't get enough of him kill me <sighs> and the last and final thing for this month is i actually reached a hundred subscribers you guys holy macaroni this has been a really long journey for me if you guys don't know i started youtube about three years ago now but i've been a part of youtube where i've been watching youtube since it started or it was born or created or made and youtube has been a huge part of my life and i just cannot believe it a hundred well actually 102 subscribers so hey two people you guys count too but thank you thank you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos and subscribing and just coming along with me on this journey like i don't know it's just come full circle it's so crazy to think that 102 of you actually watch my videos and are subscribed to me and listen to me and all my weirdness so thank you and more to come so stay tuned so yeah that pretty much concludes my month for october my favorites are in my rants and my thoughts i guess i don't really know so if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up comment below share subscribe turn on post notifications follow me on social media and other than that i hope you guys have a fantastical day health and peace